Okay, let me know if that falls right there. Ah, Jennifer. Remember when we were opening this door? Okay. <laughs> now, mayor, council, right? What's a mayor like? It's an executive, kind of like a governor or a president. So they're the executive, the mayor is the executive. What would the city council be like? Like the, like the representatives, the, the Congress. <clears throat> now most cities in Texas, that's how we operate. Not all states do this. Paradise has a mayor and a city council. Decatur has a mayor and a city council. Dallas has a mayor and a city council. It's all different. Why are they all different? Because they're different towns. Because the towns are different. The needs are different. The pressure on them is different. Our mayor and city council don't deal with the same things that Decatur does and uh, Dallas does. His paradise is going to change over time. Yeah, I'm sure because there'll be more roofs running around. And we don't have anything that they have to really deal with very much. Uh, what's something Paradise is going to have to have that is going to disrupt most people's lives here and cost money? Well, as long as yes, schools. We can't keep building housing that's going to sell the tax. We have to have schools. And that's maybe millions for a city. Get that by the land, you've got to have a treatment, you've got to have pipes, you've got to have all the stuff. And we had done that before we started all the, the houses around here. Where's the Decatur Center? Okay. Where that? You ever go to the Fitwise or the hospital? You know, no. Mm -hmm. That's that's where it's at. It's on the south east. So it's on the back of the crap house and the roofs. Crap smell. Austin College had a craft plant. That one? I think we made mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it had, a, it had a smell all year. But heat affected it. If in the wintertime it smelled like somebody had cooked spaghetti. Not spaghetti with the, but just the cooked spaghetti, you know? Just the noodles. It had like a real strong spaghetti noodle smell. Because that's not horrible. It's not good. Summer and fall, football season, when it's hot and humid, it smelled like somebody threw up right there. <laughs> just this just constant. And it affected us. It affected the business even worse. It said, it's not there anymore. It was awful. Yeah. Crap house. Oh, we got uh, <laughs> city manager. City manager next. Uh, it just says city. It's just kind of form of government. So we did that. Okay. Did we do that? What is uh, large 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 council. Council. Okay, okay, good, good. At large. All right, so talk about the city council. That's paradise. Am I going to try to draw a little? Yeah, I am. Okay. What is it? Here is it. Yeah. You got the school here, you got the streets here, school house, things like that. Four people on the city council. All these people on the city council in paradise are at large. They represent the entire town. Small. They don't represent a section of town. They represent the whole town. Our school board are at large members. They represent the entire school district. They don't remember they don't represent Cottonville or Paradise or Waco or that they they represent the entire school district. That's an at large member. More schools, one person to a district. They break it up in little districts. And one person from each district is elected to represent those people in that whole town. Why does Paradise? Yeah. 
is not enough. There's only a couple hundred people that live in town. Yeah. And you couldn't get one So they're just happy to have four people they love to death. Love to have large members. Dallas is single member districts that represent their part of the city, not the whole town. And their school districts are the same. Now Wise County. Yeah. The county Commissioners and they're picked from each precinct. Just like you have your thought senior and your each precinct, like right there by right. all the high schools there's a precinct. You got all the bulldozers and stuff. And that is single member. City, uh, city, city manager. Chico has a city manager. Bridgeport has a city manager, Decatur has a city manager, Dallas has a city manager, Paris does not. Why do we not have a city manager? We don't. We don't have stuff. We don't have stuff to manage. Okay. City manager runs the city like a business. A business has certain things it has to do. Somebody has to make sure all those things get done, and they get done under budget. So that's what a city manager does, run a city like a business, and bring back the change. What do I mean by that? Don't, don't, don't spend extra. Keep it, keep, keep it under the budget. What does Chico have that they need to do? Chico has, I don't know if y'all know, there's something Chico has that we don't. No, not that. I mean, they have police. They have Chico police. So their city, their their chief of police is the city manager because that's the only thing really they they've got. Bridgeport and Decatur and Dallas has public works. What do they do? Streets. They're in charge of <laughs> keeping the streets. They're in charge of the water. They're in charge of the sewer. I don't know if Bridgeport is. Some cities have their own electrical system. Sometimes it's electricity. Okay. What else does Bridgeport and Decatur and Dallas have? Police. Fire. That's not a city. We have a lot of buildings. That's not a city. This is city. City service. Police. Decatur, I think, changed to an actual fire department. Bridgeport hadn't done that yet, right? Yeah, it's still volunteer? Yeah, it's volunteer. Okay. But some of them have fire and police fire parks. Decatur, Bridgeport's got the pool and parks. Decatur just has parks. We have a park. Oh, no, Methodist yeah. Church? Actually, it's just north. It's northeast of the Methodist Church. There's a little empty lot a tree and there's a rock seat there. That's, that's, that's technically that's park. technically a park. No ride. Yeah. Do you get any You can go sit there in the shade if you want to sometime. But that's the city manager. They are hired by the city. They are not elected. They're hired. And they it's taxpayer money so they're not rich but they have a house, they have a truck, they've got lunch, they may or may not go on vacations, but it's like a teacher. Like a teacher. Now, if the city manager in Dallas is going to make more than the city manager in Decatur, he's going to probably make more than the city manager of Bridgeport, for sure, more than Chico. But for Chico, is it like the chief of police basically just gets just a bonus. police department? Yeah, a little bonus. It's not a <laughs> Your city manager. What kind of background would a city manager need? Business. Business, finance, economics, some sort of degree in that. Okay. Now, 
done good twice. You know, I've done good. Yeah, I've done good twice. <coughs> what happened the third time? I don't think I did it the first time. Alright, so we got EFW. Really makes up about six. Six, possibly seven. Well, it was, it was tilted at the ceiling. Oh, okay. Six, possibly seven counties. I think Wise County is getting to where we're at, but maybe not quite. There's about eight million people in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. You got Austin, San Antonio. And you got Houston, Dallas. Everybody in Texas lives in this triangle. So I'd say 70% of the people live in this triangle. Why do they live there? Because for work. That's where the jobs are, that's where the opportunity is. Now, sometimes there's opportunities out here, and people move there, and there is jobs there, but not as many. You got uh, El Paso is close. El Paso has about 700, 800,000. It'd be the next one. It's historically been the major city. You've got a couple little cities out here, a couple here, uh, but that's the, that's the spots. I, mean, I used to drive 35 back when I was in college. I worked New Braunfels a couple summers, and I loved driving 35. There was little towns, and there was stuff, and there was places to eat. Anybody drive on 35 anymore? You can park on 35. And you move a little bit, and then you sit there for a while. From Temple until you get to San Antonio, it's pretty much city. There's a little bit of grass there. It's going to be eventually where from Waco to Texas, it's a city. And eventually, someday, it's just going to be from Sherman to San Antonio, it's just basically And I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll my life, we chop this top of the textile in Waco. They built the new one across the highway on the west side. It's smooth. Um, it's <laughs> slope of text. Slope of moves on the side. I wasn't going to go there because you go to check stop. I don't like check stop. Check stop. But it was getting where there was no time that you could go there. With Even say it's good. So if you stop for check stop or slow for checks, you're in trouble. You're okay. Slow for checks, just take more of your money because you got to move around. It's something you want, it's something you discuss. So be prepared for that. It's still, it's still okay. Does anybody not stop at gas for check stop? Okay. But if you go off from San Antonio and go south, Waco, you have to stop at gas for either one of those places. You can get it. It's not a lot. There's no need to eat cooked fruit. Yeah. But, the, but the, the bread or surrounding the sausage, you have to eat bread surrounding, bread surrounding sausage. That has to be eaten. That's, that's where you go. It's not a kolache, but that's what everybody calls it a kolache. So that's some weird thing. This is a quick trial. How, yes. many, how many areas of Texas have over a million people? Four. The FW, yeah. Austin, San Antonio. And then Houston Galaxy. Would not be close as well. They probably have two, two, two hundred, maybe. Oh, yeah. Three thousand. That's a lot bigger. It's big, yeah, it's got bigger. It's more like it's more like <coughs> it's bigger than Denton. But Denton's getting there because it's spread out. Well, it's similar to Denton, I would say. Abilene. Last period messed things up. Had to go to a meeting. Mm -hmm. Houston, 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 Houston,
I doubt they're all one thing. Austin said they're all one thing. They won't say so. Jason, you? Yes. They built it. It looks huge, but it's only six twelve out. So it's never going to be. They can they can they can pack it. Looks like that. Looks like. Looks like. Looks like. Because when you when you graduate and you get your diploma, what you need to do is just drop down and <laughs> just start cranking out push-ups. That's the goal. Crank out push-ups. Is that would that be awesome? I'll pay you a dollar for every push-up you do at graduation. Well, I mean, once we get our diploma, what they do is stop us. I'll take it back. I'm there to watch. <laughs> 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 Um, however much we get done today, we get done. Um, third period jacked everything up. So we won't take a quiz tomorrow. Whatever we don't finish, we'll finish. Whatever time we have, we'll have fun. Not fun question mark. I'm going to find a way to have fun. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Period. Just say period. Don't put the pressure on that. All right. We got the U.S. Secretary of State. What do you know about him? What is it? Deal with other countries. Say deal with foreign countries. The Texas Secretary of State. What do you think they do? You think so? What does the county clerk do? Keep up the papers. The official documents. The Secretary of State is the county clerk of the state of Texas. They there over all the state official documents. Which means birth certificate, which is we have to send off to Austin to get Pacers, his baseball deal. Birth and death certificates. Registration and the ballots. They're ultimately over all the elections. The county clerks are like the branch managers. This is the president of the country. And they used to have, every year in January, they'd send these little voter registration card things. You could mail them off. Where do you think the address would take you? Austin, Secretary of State's office. Austin, Secretary. All right, civil and criminal, I'm just gonna hit that real fast. Civil, I think we should have figured out, is if you're mistreated by a company or the government. That's civil. civil. Civil is the way you're treated. Criminal would be something physical. Either you got something stolen, something broke, either your body or your house. <laughs> And there's civil court or criminal court in Texas. Now, a corporate charge. When you get treated with disrespect. Yeah. But now they're not mistreated and stuff like that. Well, that's that's a little different. This is more like if they you'll get hired because you're white or you'll get hired because you're a girl or you don't get you know, that that kind of stuff. Or if the government how can you prove you didn't get Or or science, science, or you might you get bonus points for. What's that? If you try, you get bonus points. I'm not trying. Unless they have a football game or something, and something happens. And they're like, that's why, that's why one of those drops are just deteriorating. Yeah. Green Bay Packers versus the 49ers. I teared up at the end. I teared up at something the other day. All right. Corporate charter. If you're going to LLC yourself or your business, y'all remember that one? You're, you're taxed wise and you're legally protected. You don't get sued, the company gets sued. 
This is what gets sued. If you're going to do that, you have to fill out paperwork with the state. So you fill out paperwork. The corporate charter is part of that paperwork. Yes, you fill out. It's kind of like you're applying for a job, but you're applying for an LLC. Can you be? Hmm? Can you be a detective? I think so. But probably not. It depends. Corporate charter. What you're doing with the corporate charter, you're telling what your business is, how it operates, how it's set up. You're just explaining what. Okay, the what, the how what the business is, how it operates, how it's set up. That's the corporate charter. It's Mayor Kazanoff says, Kyle wants to explain. Okay. Yeah, he was talking about it. Uh, now, a public utility. You ever heard of public utilities? Electric water. Yes. Talking about electricity, water, sewer, that kind of stuff. Let's say Decatur is going to, it's the 1920s, and they're going to put electricity in there. What would have to be done to get electricity to the houses? Power lines. Power lines. Thank you, Mr. Pringle. I can't tell you how many times in class we get the power lines built and then nobody can figure out what else needs to be done to get power to the house. Uh, how much water it takes to fill a power plant? Uh, well, every power plant has water, but they because the cooling, they gotta cool the equipment. So the other one out there by Aaron Balasora, the watch can go off. Lights you see and the, the smoke you see in the sky right there in the wintertime. A public utility is a legal monopoly. What's a monopoly? They have control over it and they can control the cost. There's only one, there's a single place. Now it's not, they don't control the cost, which is what makes it legal. Uh, could Decatur say, hey, we just want to have power in Decatur. Anybody wants to do that, come on in. And let's say three companies build a power plant. They all run lines to all the houses. Would they stay in business? No. No, because this costs huge money to do all that. So what the city does is they pick one. Sometimes it's the city that does it. And it can be supported by all the houses paying the bills, but you couldn't have competing electric companies in town instead of all those wires and putting them out. Water systems, same thing. You, you have to have one monopoly, and when, when they want to raise prices, they have to go through the government. You have to go through the city and say, here's, here's our stuff, here's why you have to raise prices, and then the city council will say yes or no to that. So they don't control the price. The government controls the price. But they are a monopoly. You see why you have to have that. But you have to, but people have different like electrician providers. They do now because of fiber optics and and uh, what do we call that? What's not inventions, but technological advancements. Uh, in okay, uh, there's probably some regulations with it. Anybody in Wise County come up for electricity? We are so lucky. So lucky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, T Electric, or whatever it is this month, they always change the name. I think it's Encore now. Maybe. When we were doing some stuff with our electric, you had to turn off the phone electricity. You have to call Encore, which means you're calling Bridgeport Connected, which means they don't know who you are or where you're at. And if I say you're in Valsora, they say, no, we're not in Valsora. We're in Paris. No, you're in Valsora. No, we're not. So you have to send me an email. You call. How's your house? How's the red? They know who you are. They know where you're at. And they get things. Plus, it's cheaper. It's 
all you're doing is paying for your assistance. You're not paying any profit to anybody. Everybody owns the company. It's a co-op. Um, now, I do stay with whatever. I don't know if I, if I have to because of anything else, but you can start picking providers. I've never wanted to do that because if electricity goes off and I'm with Ted's electric, I don't know... You know what I mean? I don't know if it always is going to work all the time. I know T.O. Electric's going to rip me off, but I know they're going to be there, and I know they can fix my electricity when they go down. Don't tell me. So, yep. Is there a JEXA energy? Call, I think I keep thinking these cables are there. Mom keeps having to do stuff all the time. He got on JEXA. He had to pick his electricity down on campus. And he picked the JEXA. No hurricanes, nothing. Yeah, so I think he's stuck electricity the whole time. But I would be afraid of Jexa energy. I'm kind of scared because I'm old. Union shop. If you work in Ohio, Pennsylvania, or Michigan, New York, those are union shop states. Their economies were industrial, manufacturing, factories. And unions came in and kept workers from dying. Made it where they made more money. They had better benefits. Little kids ain't in the mines anymore. And in those states, you're going to have dues taken out of your check. What's dues? Money. 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 You're in the union for most jobs in those states. In the union shop state, you're in the union. If you're not, you're not. Well, you don't, yeah, but you don't have a choice. D dudes are taken out. What do you want them to do? But you do have good jobs. You do have good pay. You do have good benefits. And if you go on, if they go on strike, you do get money while you're on strike. Because they have to fund all that. They also give political candidates campaign donations that maybe you don't like. But anyway, that's a that's a union shop state. Texas is a right to work. A right to work state means you don't have to join the union. You can if you want to. Now, not all jobs are union jobs. Way more jobs up in Ohio and all those states are union jobs. There's way less up here. Does anybody, it's getting less and less. Does anybody's family here work at the GM plant in Arlington? Okay. If you work there, you're part of the UAW. Not all of them. Lockheed, I'm sure you know. Union Hill. Railroad. There are some states have teachers unions, and they're evil because they they want teachers to get paid more and do less. How can you do less? I'm leaning on a chair. If the air conditioner needs to, it's going to kick on. I'm turn the fan on and it's talking. How can I not do less than them? And they go on strike. They go on strike. How's a teacher going to go on strike? <laughs> There's dumb kids out there that need something. How are you going to sit there and sit at the house and do nothing? Go, 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 go work for a living. Yeah, I wish I could get you guys. Huh? I said, I wish I could get you guys. Yeah, then you'd be nothing. Then you got no job and no future. And yeah, yeah. Not What's that? I don't think so. Well, I am not sure you. But I ain't quitting. I don't know. The guy that was selling it. I'm not sure. I care about y'all. I don't care about you. Work. Mandatory sentence. If you, if there's a mandatory sentence for this crime, and you're convicted, what's going to happen? That's the sentence. It's an automatic sentence. For, a lot of drug crimes have mandatory sentences. There's no shortening it. There's no increasing it. That's just the sentence. You can't get out of it. That might be possible. But what it means is the jury can't pick between this and this. Oh. If it, if it is 20 years in prison, you're getting 20 years in prison. Now, you could get parole later, but they can't pick 15 for you. Um, I was on the grand jury a couple times. Grand jury. They're the ones that meet every month and decide on speedy trial. And the DA brought this case before us and said, I do not want this going to trial. 
do not send this to trial. I have to bring it to y'all, but I don't want y'all to send it to trial. Yeah, I think it was like an 18-year-old kid and a 16-year-old kid, and the mom hated the boy, and so she pressed charges on him, and um, he said, if, if this goes to court and he's convicted, he's a sex offender the rest of his life, and that's not what this law is for. So we didn't, because that was a mandatory Parole, that is when you, you, you've been convicted, you go to prison, but you get out early. And there are restrictions. They restrict where you can go, what you can do, where you can live, but you're not in prison. You have restrictions, but you're not in prison. And you're your former parole officer. Well, Christy sometimes talks about being a parole officer, but I don't, I don't think hot dogs are legal. She wanted to be a criminal officer. She's always liked criminal justice stuff, and she talks about that every once in a while. I was like, I don't think it is. Anyway. Now, house arrest. It's pretty similar to parole. It's usually before the trial, and you're, you're restricted, but at least you're back. Outside, you probably can't even have to. Ever? Ever? Would you have to pee? You can get one foot out the door. Yeah, I'm just trying to say that. You get good at it. I guess you're just not good at it. But you can go, if you arrange it, you can go to the grocery store. Yeah, you can. Play in semi final playoff game also. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be scared. Decatur Crafter fans. They're playing La Vega and then the top ten coach just showed up with the kids. <laughs> Excise tax. We've done that one. That's the one that's automatically added in on gasoline. Cigarettes. Tag on top there. <laughs> now, bond, we've done that one. Bonds when you loan money to a government or a company. And why would you do that? Investment. It's an investment. You get interest back. If it's a municipal bond, it should be to a government. Low risk. Low risk. You're gonna get your you're gonna get that money back, but it's gonna be low interest. Because it's a mature investment. There's not much money involved. A commercial, which is business, is higher risk, but so it's higher interest. Government stays in lockdown, are they stuck losing these bonds? I don't know. There were some negotiations the other day. I think they just looked at each other and called each other names and went home. It's not, it's two, it's not, it's two. And then Pee Wee Herman showed up and said, I know you are, I'm going to play the night. And then, and then <laughs> that closed it down. I just, there's no excuse. I said it here before. If Trump and Pelosi can agree to something, anybody can agree to something. Okay? If they've proven anything, anything. Do you think Trump's doing just fine chilling in his vacation home? I don't 
I'll make one. Trump does fine. The other, he can't handle. He has a hard time handling the last thing. He's not spared. He just not manage his own control. He doesn't take negatives. He doesn't. He can't handle it when things don't go. Things are going his way. He's fine. Spend it on is fine as long as it's about education. So there's a chunk of money that the state can choose how to spend it as long as it's within these years. Well, Christie got a, a grant from the state of Texas. Federal money to give her all special state grants program. Yeah. 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 Yeah.